Huh. <laughs> That's a good way to start the fucking stream. Just coffee my lungs out. Excellent. Hmm. Okay. Village. On the day of the ceremony, the village vanished. Hmm. That is loud. Are you going to actually spoil this? Let's not spoil that, okay? Uh, new game. Normal. Didn't we always promise each other? That we would always be together. The imagery is definitely a lot more disturbing, like so Mario. far. Huh. Okay, so I played the first like five minutes <clears throat> to make sure that there wasn't any problems. Hopefully this goes smoothly. A lot better than uh, Fatal Frame 1 did. Alright, let me take a look at stuff here. That's still the button to open everything. But we don't have a map. Uh, memos. Gotcha. Okay, so all of this is basically the same. Same controls. Excellent. It is 
fucking dark. village excellent okay i've heard about this place a long time ago there was a village here that disappeared during a festival people who get lost in the woods are trapped by the village could this be that place i don't know i don't even know your name actually when i think about it Huh. No. Here. Oh, you got a little limp for when you fell off that little cliff there. Alright. No. What is this? Why does this look like the huge talon like stone pillars are lined up around the giant pedestal rock? Maybe some kind of altar. That looks like the rope binding ritual from the first game. This game is really quiet. <clears throat> Something on the ground. There are several pieces of paper and a photo inside. News clipping from a year ago. The headline reads, Geological Survey are Missing. With the start of construction and all God's dams approaching, Masumi Makimura, a geological surveyor dispatched to the area, has gone missing. Mr. Makimura went to the area to investigate the site that would be submerged once the dam was built, but it hasn't been heard back from for five days. Now, the search for Masumi, the surveyor missing since the 4th of this month, was come to the close yesterday. Um, Makimura had been helping to conduct a geological survey for All God's Dam. As of yesterday, he's been missing for 10 days. He is super dead. A photo of a man and woman are attached to the news clipping. Okay, from the files. Who is this, I wonder? Who else is here? No. Yeah, I'm sure that's just a regular person in this abandoned village. Hey, Steve. Stevie. Steve-o. Yeah, Fatal Frame 2. Apparently this one's supposed to be a lot better than the first. Whoa, Ghost Hand! <laughs> I, I do call you Steve-O. What if you made a breakfast cereal called Stevie-O's? Oh, that's creepy. And right off the bat, this game has significantly better voice acting than the first one. Isn't anybody here? This place could use some room. Oh. Oh, wow. Thanks, Jess. You are the 80th. Mayu? Mayu? What's wrong? 
Yippee! I'm doing good. How are you doing? This is way more fucking unhinged than the first one. Way more unhinged. I don't know. I'm doing good. Oh, oh gotcha. Cody, that's awesome. So when I was testing this, I noticed that if I like I went to go get some coffee, I came back and it looks like instead of an idle animation, um, like a film grain will pop up on the surface and horrifically creepy images of women will just fade in and out. And it is fucking terrifying. It, it, it kind of freaked me out. I came back and was not expecting that. The Homeless Notebook, one. A page torn from a notebook is near the sunken fireplace. I've heard rumors about the Lost Village before. Long ago, a massacre occurred on the day of a ceremony. The village was wiped from the map. Twin deities, statues in the forest led lost to the people. Okay, gotcha. Once you pass through the gate, however, you can't go back. The village eternally relives that night of death. The insane laughter of a woman is said to echo throughout the village. The only survivor of the massacre at the village was a lone woman. Oh, you got D and D today. Nice. How far are you into this D and D session? Is it like brand new, or is it something that's been pretty established? Uh, how do I do a quick turn? Okay, it's just turn around. Gotcha. What is in here? Just the tatami mat and a ghost. Herbal medicine. Okay. It is really dark without a flashlight here. Uh, there's a hanging painting here. A bed. Yeah, a bed. It won't open anymore. All right. Someone, anyone, whoever sees this, look for me. I'm trapped in this village. Help me. Okay. Oh. There's a lump in it, as if something's inside. Well, why don't you check? Maybe it's a body. <laughs> All right. Oh. Well, is this a door? Uh, oh. There's a deck behind the... Cold wind blows in from the atrium. There's a deck there. God, man, I can't wait to get a flashlight or a lantern or some source of light. All right. Uh, I still don't have a map. Oh, I do have a map. That's nice. I thought I'd have to find one. That door's locked. Padlock engraved with a family crest representing Ginger on the door. Gingers have no souls. Man, that is such an old joke. It's so corny. Come hmm. on, my little crippled sister. Mel, I'm here now. 
Oh, I thought that was a giant face. Well, that's really cool. There's cloth textures. That's pretty advanced. Is this an old cold brazier or brazier? There's dust inside, hasn't been used for a long time. Woman's notebook three. Asumi, it's me, Miyoko. We came to look for you. Let's go home together. Together we can make it. Call for me if you find this. I'll be near. Okay, I'll be nearby. I miss you. I wonder if anyone's really here. No, no one is here. This shit is fucking wrecked. What makes you think anyone would be here still? And once I get my flashlight and my camera, there lands. Okay, let me take a look here. Okay, oh, up, 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 to the right. There's a door. Where is this door? It's weird. It says there's a door right here, right? Yeah. Why can't I go through it? I guess we'll just figure something else. There's a lot more to explore. Take a look at the map. All right, there's another room. Wow, it takes a while to get out of this map. Ooh. door is slightly ajar. Oh, that's the door. It's hard for me to figure out these sliding doors because to me, they kind of look like walls. Something's strange about this place. This whole fucking place is strange. A flashlight. Nice. Camera obscura pointers. Camera pointers is written on the cover. This camera was made by Dr. Aso. Uh, to take a cake, gotcha. Camera obscure, okay. These beans may even gain the upper hand on the user. I wonder if I can photograph the site at the heart of this village's forbidden ritual. How many forbidden rituals does this country have? scared me.
here we go. Uh, has anything changed since the first one? Camera Obscura is a special camera, gotcha. For spirit, the filament at the bottom right of the screen. Okay. Gotcha. Once you found the spirit, you can do the X button or the R1 button. Let's see. Wow, you are quick on your feet. Type 14, I got 48. I wonder if they'll do the same thing where I can um, refill my, what's it called? My film at the safe point if I get low. Somehow I doubt it. I feel like this one's going to be more challenging than the first. They're withered, but they look like they were placed here recently. Herbal medicine. All right. Can't get through there. Before I go and get into combat, I'm just trying to search this room. Also, I don't know if my head is moving like it did in the first game or if I'm just going to have to kind of button mash. Or maybe it's because I got my sister with me. Excuse me, you're in my way. Please, hobble your way away. Jesus Christ! Door woman. Okay. Oh. It's gone. Come on, let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. The presence you're feeling in front of the door is gone now. It said he can capture things that ordinary people can't see with his camera. Could this be the power of the camera? Yes. We just read a whole document on this thing. Let's get out of here. Uh, let's see. What is down this hallway? We check the map. Uh. Whew, I don't know where to go. I guess we'll go back to the atrium and then we'll take a look around. Maybe we can... I got a flashlight now, so... Can I turn that off? Nope. Good. I don't know what the... I don't know what the save points look in this game. Let's see, we got the atrium here. There's nothing. Can I examine this well now? Nope. Anything on the ground? Oh. There is nothing. Okay. Excuse me, pardon me. I don't know what your name is. I'm gonna call you Tater Tot. Just head on down here. I think we'll go straight this time. And... Oh. Got anything to say about this? No? Don't care. Alright. Filament isn't glowing blue, so I don't see. Oh, what? Oh, I thought it was just taking me over there. Fuck! What? Oh, you were looking at something. That's. Oh fuck! Oh, is this it? Oh, it's a okay. It's a lantern in this game. That's cool. Yeah, create new game data. And 
game data created. Album. Enter album mode. Photo data can be saved. Alright, so there is absolutely... <laughs> hey, Rat. Every Nian, how are you today? Yeah, I know. I love that fucking clip. I think it's from... Is that Azumanga Dio or Akai probably butchered that like crazy? Alright, so it does not look like I can refill my pistol ammo or the Type 14. Alright, we're in the kimono room. Because every manor apparently has a kimono room. Here's the camera. Alright, let's take a look here. Basic functions. How much are we costing? Uh, no equipment to equip. Function power up. 6,000, 4,000, 7,000. I have a total of 279 points. Additional functions, equipped functions, power up. Oh, there's a power up lens. Reflects a little damage, takes a little bit of time to load. Okay. Sometimes I sense someone passing by the window. He carries a torch and mutters things. He seems to be searching for somebody. That's not Masumi. In the distance, I can hear some kind of sad ceremonial song being sung. They say that this village vanquished or vanished on the day of a ceremony, and that day is repeated over and over and over again. It's basically Nightmare Groundhog Day. Somewhere in the drawer. Old kimonos in the chest. All right. Yeah, I don't see her head move when something's here. So I feel like this is gonna be just a pixel hunt. Excuse me, tater tot. I'm, excuse me, tater tot. Pardon me. That doesn't look interesting. Okay. Let's go in here. This looks like a dead end. Alright. Is this the place with the body in it? Oh, wait. This is the atrium. Let me check here. I'm kind of confused based on... The old one, it, it just basically highlighted or filled it out, right? Um, wait, did I go in this? Yeah, I went in the storeroom. All right, let's go upstairs. If I can just get around the invisible wall I'm clipping into. Someone that probably knows this game in and out is having a stroke. That's the ginger lock. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll go down the stairs like that. Where the fuck am I going? Where? Direct me, spirits. Family altar room. I went in there. The deluxe tatami room. <laughs> All right, we have to take a left. Get out of here. This way. Wait, did I go this way? I did go this way. Fuck. That's the back room. I am so turned around. This is not a good start to this game. Oh, for fuck's sakes, please. Oh, yeah, I probably should have gone towards the beginning. <laughs> God damn it. The door is held shut by some kind of powerful force. Neil, look. Ben 
finishes at door. That's a cool little camera effect. It's a lot neater than um, the first one. It seems to be held by some powerful force. Okay, let me take another shot here. All right, that is the gross room that I've been to like eight times. Gotcha. I know where we're going. Follow me. Alright. Down this way. Past the cool cloth physics. Cloth, I guess. I don't know what you would call that. Flag? Family emblem. Hey, Kim. How you doing? How's everything? Someone here. Yep. All right. Take a photo of this. Something shows up in the photo. It looks like an injured man. Yeah, that's exactly what I think of when I see that. Why don't you go get something to eat? Or is it one of those days where you just don't have anything that? Whoa. Man on deck. 389 points. New high score. I think the thing that I like about this game is it's basically horror Pokemon Snap. Except for instead of Pokemon, you're trying to capture like ancient Japanese people with your film. That and was it cursed, uh, cursed rituals. All right, let's go in here. Let's get our first fight so I can show how incredible I am. And that is not a door. It's open. Up on through. Okay. Are you going this way? Is this the thing? It's still busted. is the deal here what is it that you needed from me is this something that I'm gonna go out and you're gonna spook me yeah there we go there's something shiny in the closet <laughs> the ginger key Flies. Sir, the flashlight beam doesn't reach the bottom of the well. There doesn't seem to be any. Okay, water, faint current of air rises from. We'll definitely be going back there. Where is this? Who's that? The door seems to be locked. Okay. dude. You're back. Yeah, I, you and Sai have to get out of there. She's at the ceremony master's house. She's gonna do it. Go get her. There's still time to catch up with her. The twin keys the gate are enshrined in the twin deities statues. Look for the statues that's okay. Like that somewhere in the village. Yai, the ritual is about to start. Hurry. Okay. I will do that. Thank you, random Albano kid. Uh, wait, are you a fucking ghost? You gotta be a ghost. Alright. Where are you gonna take me? Uh, 
Excellent. More butterflies. Alright, so those are going to lead me somewhere. Crimson butterflies fly out of the statues. Alright. Where are you going to take me? Do we go back this way? If you cannot find a way to leave the village, come and find me. I may be able to help. Sounds like a plan. Thank you. All right, let's save. Resume the game. <laughs> now, are they gonna show up? Or am I just wandering around at this point? There's nothing down that alleyway. Uh, what is this? This definitely looks like something. That's absolutely like a hidden door. Alright, so we got... Somewhere. I guess we'll go straight. Oh, there's another one of these. Doesn't look like there's a key hidden here. Okay, you're just keeping an eye out for the actual stones. I think we're supposed to correlate what that stone was to the one that we're looking for, but it's so low quality I couldn't really make out. No key. All right. We'll go straight this time. There's another one. No, oh, there we go. That's the one. Garden deity. Covers a small wooden block. Alright, so that's the one. Okay. Oh, there's another one here. Excellent. Oh, there's two of you guys there. Ooh. Double shot. Oh, come on. Please, bounce out of here. I need you to move a little quicker, please. Thank you. Please reload a little faster. Just... Ugh. It's nerve-wracking. Another shot. God, that one's strong. Why? Alright, I'm just gonna finish you off. There we go. Okay, please die. See if you drop anything. Nothing. All right, that's okay. After that one ghost died, I just am anticipating things. So we got that first one. Let's, I guess, look for the other one. Yeah, no, the second one, or Siren, was not my cup of tea. I didn't like it, honestly. Like, I understand it was supposed to be a stealth game, but uh, the controls were too hard for me, and I just, 
It wasn't it wasn't for me. Alright, let's go up and follow that ghost procession. Oh, and here's a little jewel. Something on the ground. Sacred water. That's good. What is my health like? Half. I'll take that chance. Okay. There, there we go. What is this? Shrine Shadow. I'm getting pretty good at finding these hidden ghosts. The first one was really difficult. Yeah, I'll go inside, please. I really like how this one isn't just one big mansion, it's an actual town. It makes it seem a lot more fast. And I, I don't know how to explain it, but like oppressive. Uh, this thing isn't just contained to one house, like you couldn't just run away. Another spirit orb, all right. What are you? An old mirror has been enshrined in front of the altar with the crimson butterfly picture. Got anything else? Like, you want me to take a photo of it? No. All right. You know, out of curiosity, is there... No. There is not. Okay. I'll have to check next time I boot up the game, like towards the end. I want to see if there's an actual setting for, like, head movement for your character. Because I... Uh, large curtain draped all... yeah. Now, it throws me for a loop that there's no way to tell that hidden items, like, you know, Resident Evil did it, the first game did it. This one I don't understand. And there's nothing there. Oh, there's a door to the back of that octagon, or hexagon. The door is plastered all over with countless talismans. The door is stuck fast. No matter how hard you try, you can't get it open. Uh, nothing to take a photo of. Let's try leaving and see if we can trigger something. If not, we'll further explore the area. That is a lot of talismans. Can I go through there? Beyond the lattice, you can see a straw doll laying down. It's about the size of a person. Okay. Well, obviously nothing happened, so I gotta check that building out a little more. There has to be something. It didn't just lead me into this procession with no point, right? Like, that would be not... That doesn't make any sense. Examine the map. Okay, so there is a hole in this wall directly in front of me. There we go. Yeah, see? Herbal medicine. Damn! Cloth cover some slab shaped object. Is that it? Alright, I guess we'll just have to move on. I'll try interacting with the uh, mirror one last time and then head on out. Yeah, nothing. Alright, we're gonna head out and then just keep going down the pathway. Maybe he just wants me to make a mental note of this area. Mm. Man, I better enjoy this last cup of coffee because I am officially out. I have to go to the store. Alright, so down this mountain of stairs, take a right and go down that pathway and see where it takes us. Is 
that giant tree? At the roots of a giant tree, there's a hole. It appears to lead into some sort of cave. Well, can I go through it? Is there anything at the bottom? No. Okay. Wait a minute. No, wait. What am I supposed to be doing here? We didn't get anything except for the right piece. Let's go try putting that piece back, that uh, key on that door, and see if that triggers a new event. Because at this point, I'm not entirely sure where I should be going. I know we're still looking for a statue with the crimson butterflies over it, and that'll give us the left piece of the door, but at this point, I'm just kind of at a loss. Oh, time 14 film. Excellent. How much does that give me? Not a lot. I will take this opportunity to save. All right. Let me examine my map here. All right, let's go north. We'll take a left. Go deposit that key. And if we can't find, if nothing pops up, we'll go talk to that white haired kid again. Because I don't think I'm supposed to enter other buildings yet. Like, nothing has led me in there. Like, a ghost or a butterfly or anything like that. This game is pretty good about giving you the general direction of where you're supposed to go. Like with the uh, shrine procession. Alright, so... Let's see. Is this the one? Nope. I still have that key. Do I have to use it through my items? Okay. No. It doesn't even look like it's going to let me use it until I actually have both keys. Okay, wait, please stop. <laughs> Alright, time to exhaust our options and go back. Maybe I have to interact with that stone again and it'll give me the next one. Or maybe I'll just be wandering around like a jackass for the next 20 minutes. There's something oddly oppressive and very comforting about this village. Like, I could see in its prime it being wonderful, with the exception of it being built on the gateway to hell. But other than that, I feel like it's a really nice place to live. All right, kid. Show me what you got. Give me a hint. Yeah, yeah. Is that you? Okay. What's your deal now? Two keyholes, the gate to Whisper Bridge. When the confinement starts, the gate gets locked. The twin statue keys are hidden in the twin deity statue somewhere. Look for the statues like that somewhere in the village. Yai, if we escape, I'm sure we can avoid the fate of the twin shrine maidens. Don't give up. You know, everyone else's voice acting is really good, except for yours. Alright, so... Maybe that was an action that I had to do. Alright. Um, we... Pretty much looked all over the place there. We're gonna go and back up the mountain, like the original starting point of the game, see if we can find one. Because I know there was a big altar, so it wouldn't be too far out there 
to think there would be another smaller shrine stone or whatever. Um, something on the ground. Wow. All right. It's nice to have. I'm just going to have to start mashing X on everything now. Nope, nothing there. Nope. This game does something different compared to the first one. Like, if you hold the X button, um, or the square button, you run forward. And in the first game, it will just keep you going forward. There we go. That's where it is. But in this one, if the camera switches, sometimes it throws you backwards, and it just completely throws you off. All right, guardian statue. There we go. Perfect. All right, is there gonna be a fight? Of course. All right. Oh, there's another one of you guys. And there's an, and I'm boxing myself in. Oh, fuck. Alright, zero shot. That's a one hit kill. Okay, this one's over there. Take your shot. Come on, let me parry it. Why are you doing this to me? God damn it. Fucking get up on me. Awesome. Where's the other one? There you go. And I'm just going to take this shot and kill you. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, fuck, you're going to hit me with a stick. Nice try. <laughs> that was actually kind of anticlimactic. I was hoping for something a little quicker. But you really took your time on that swing. All right. Do you drop anything? No. Ever since that one woman out of the kimono dresser dropped something, now I'm sticking around to see if they drop ammo or, I don't know, health. And since we're up here, can I take a photo of this shrimp? Day! Oh, there's a save point too. And no, there's absolutely nothing of importance there. All right, let's collect you. Another spirit orb. All right, those are used to upgrade. All right, resume this game. So back down the mountain, down the alleyway. We'll put in the key slots and I guess that takes us to the bridge. Then we'll go get back Tater Tot, my twin sister. And I'm sure there'll be another key plot point there. Uh, did I check this one? Yeah. I will say that you definitely move a little faster than uh, the first one. I forget her name. just turned into Resident Evil 4. That is a lot of bad guys. Alright, up here, taking a right. Oh, boy. And this in. I think. Uh, yeah. It is. Yeah, no. Uh, yes, it's totally cool. Take your time, man. You know, you don't have to interact. I'm just glad that you're 
just kind of listening in. It's nice to just have people to, you know, just kind of hang out with. Insert the two swim statue keys. All right, before we go further, anything hidden around here? Yep, look at that. I got six cents for this. I know, Fatal Frame. I've played the first one. I know your tricks. Huh. What's that sound? It was absolutely a ghost fish. gonna be a bottle black bottle a bass boss battle there we go floating woman nailed it oh I thought that was one of the timed ones ah uh, okay <laughs> oh that is not good Okay. Let's... Okay. Zero shot. Come on. I uh, gotcha. This one is a piece of cake. Some of the later ones, especially in Fatal Frame 1, like the shrine dudes. Where are you? Oh, there you are were really tough. This absolute ass kicking all over the place. I'm sorry about that. Gonna feel bad for you. Oh. A shiny object is stuck between the boards of the broken bridge. Green crystal. And a spirit orb. Alright, let's listen to this radio. Uh, oh, right. Okay. Green crystal. creepy and just to kill the mood <laughs> with that green crystal in the radio it kind of looks like a muppet <laughs> so all right can't unsee that now all right onwards gotcha Bloody kimono. 287 points. Alright. Game's pretty generous with save points, which I'm all for. Okay. Wait, what does that say? Trees dimly visible through the fog are picked out by your flashlight. There we go. A little shiny over there. What are you? Another spirit orb. I am getting a lot of spirit orbs. I'm getting far more spirit orbs than I am getting ammunition. And that hyper concerns me. Anything else on the ground over here? Anything hidden? Oh, there's a talisman on there.
fuck off. Flashlight. Oh, god damn it. Repentance. Excellent. I don't have. Oh. <laughs> and it's raining. I love it. Wonderful. Perfect. <sighs> All right. Priest behind. 879 points. Oh. It reminds me. Let's uh, upgrade my camera. Uh. And function power up with my scope. Raise the level. Wait. Yeah, that's it. That's 16,000 points. The accumulation I'm still a bit off about. I don't know what my spirit power 2 is. Spirit power use. Wait, hold on. The spirit power use depends on the power up lens. Raises max spirit power. I guess that's just a more intense slow, I guess. Um. Okay, hold, get, please get out of there. Put another one for sensitivity. Put a spirit orb in there. And then one more for range. I am going to increase this. And slow. How does that work exactly? Oh well, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna use it next time and see if it's a consumable item or just a cooldown. Oh. Oh, it just fell off. That's a nice little touch. Very nice little ambiance. Fuck, that is creepy. I mean, I have a flashlight, but I'll still kick your ass, I swear. Uh, tater tot? What's your deal? Okay. I uh, found some equipment and film. Acquired the instant additional functions. Instant. Detects the fatal frame of the spirit and signals you by making the light in the upper part of the viewfinder flash red. A fatal frame is the most opportune moment to shoot with a shuttle. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's a combo. Okay. Gotcha. We are <laughs> we're Marvel now, baby. Where is your curly mustache at? Something in the drawer. Nice. Type. I got 95 shots. Holy shit. Okay, I have acquired quite a few then. I am now tater tot. So, oh. I still have it. For some reason, I keep thinking I, because I don't see it in my hand, that I've lost it, which is stupid. All right, let's see if we can wombo combo this. Oh fuck, I missed. Uh, 
not entirely sure. I think it was out of range. All right, so there's that. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure how the wombo combo works. Uh, let's try the slow. Uh, how do I use the slow? Oh, triangle. Gotcha. All right. Uh, <laughs> can I please take a shot now? Thank you. So I think those little gauges on the bottom left hand corner, the little spheres, I think those are actually the amount of usage I can use for the slow. And I guess the more damage I do, the more it builds up. That's just an observation. I don't know for certain. Uh, well, what does that say? Damp air flows through the window in the back. Maybe it's raining outside. Yeah, the lightning and thunder is probably a good indication. Oh, I see it now. There it is. Gotcha. Nice. All right, so that's how you do it. I thought it was the large filaments, not a small blinking red light. All right, where, where are you? Where? Oof. Got another one. Oh, you... Yeah, you don't have any arms. At all. Okay. And a little shiny. More spirit orbs. You can hear distant thunder. Lightning occasionally lights up the sky, but you can't see anything else. All right, let's go here. There, why? Is there a hole in the floor? Oh. Oh, that's the bad, bad lady. That's the one that was killing everyone. Fluorite. This rock is blinking like a firefly. Take a listen. Oh, my use charm is now. Let's do... No. Let's do floor right now. forever. Let's see. Uh, must have been a beautiful... Oh, must have been beautiful at one time, but now it's faded and dilapidated. So, the radio... You find crystals, and apparently if these people carried crystals everywhere, but it gave you an insight to their inner thoughts and memories. So, like, when they're saying it's dark, it's dark, it's ritual, whatever. It's just, you know, their general thoughts on an idea. I don't think it's supposed to be anything super uh, clear. It's just supposed to be abstract.
God, that lady was busy. Let's leave. Oh no, not this one. No, not that way. Now, nah, this is something that I am not supposed to fight. Oh, type 90. Oh, this early? Yeah, no, it doesn't. It's not supposed to make a lot of sense. It's just supposed to be giving you a, a vague hint and sense of unease. Oh, a stone mirror. Nice. All right. That right there is like a revive. An extra life. There's an object here covered by a large cloth. The cloth is filthy from being exposed to the elements. Can I take a photo of it? Nope. All right. Rain is pouring down on the small garden open to the skies. Oh, 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 come on. Well, I missed that one. Uh, what's down here? A uh, safe point. And while it's saving, I will let the dog out. Save complete. Is that something? Okay, no, it's just my imagination. The door is stuck fast. It is fastly stuck. Okay. I'm still bummed out I don't have my flashlight. Like, I wonder when we're gonna find batteries or something. Because it gets real dark. Something in the drawer. Type 61 film. Nice. On top of the drawer, well, on top of the chest of drawers, there's a beautiful red dish on display. Uh, did something drop? Folklorist 3. Here's a long one. For several days, earthquakes have increased in frequency. At the same time, crimson butterflies are swarming, sometimes blocking out the sun. Somehow, they look sad. How? They're just... okay. Villagers that see them put their hands together in prayer. The entire village has an air of impending doom. The village is quite fearful of the Earth's fury. Perhaps the crimson sacrifice ritual is performed to purify the ground. In the past, every area had some type of ground purifying ceremony. Many of these offered sacrifices to calm the gods. If the custom still remains today, it explains the stillness in the village. The twin shrine, twin shrine maidens must be the guardian deities of this village. The guardian deities, the twin shrine maidens, have become crimson butterflies and are returning to the village. That is a mouthful. Is that a mirror? Nope. There are flowers on display in the round, dimly lit window. Uh, what are you? Nothing. All right. Uh, 
anything here. Nope. Nope, just mashing my X button, hoping for something. What is that? Just a broken... Oh, here we go. More herbal medicine. <clears throat> And a little haunted kimono doll. Alright. Something's popping off here. Oh, that's not it. It's this way. Hold on. It's on the other side. It is. What is it? Hold on. I had you. Where were you? There we go. God! I Ugh, I just wasted a shot. Son of a bitch. Oh, wait, never mind. Different place shows in the photo. Looks like countless handprints on the wall. Oh, it was the door. Everyone's dead. Okay. Something in the drawer. More herbal medicine. She wanted to stay for And, yeah. Oh, good. I love it. I love the laughing. Everyone dies. It's true, but I don't think you need like necessarily have to murder everyone with a sword. But I guess I'm just kind of a pacifist in that sense. Uh kind of alright, yeah, so we gotta go back here. Because I'm sure she's gone. She's like, right? Like, there's no handprints on that wall. Perform the ritual with Sai alone. Perform the ritual with Sai alone. Okay. Hold on. No. Alright. Never mind. My filament glowed blue. Uh, and I thought it was like a hidden ghost. Those hidden ghosts that you find around the manor and the village give you a pretty substantial amount. Did I get turned around? I did. I got turned around. So they are relatively important to picking them up. Alright, this way. And let's pray that the laughing ghost is gone. Uh, that's the save room, or save alleyway. Now the real question, is this considered a mezzanine or a Terrence? Fuck! Also, I have no idea if I said those words correctly. Uh, hold on. Alright, there's only... Did I go down this way to check to see if there's something... My fish brain, yeah, my fish brain is not good with remembering where I went and what I've collected. Oh, you're still here. Wow, excellent, I love it. You're gonna be an insta-kill. You are an insta-kill, I know it. Okay, all right, hold on. Get through here, please. A little quicker than that. Oh fuck, you're still following me. Oh fuck, you're still following me. How do I get through? Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! Not like this! <laughs> hold on. Oh fuck, it's just a closet. It's just a storeroom! I'm fucking dead. Yeah. God damn it. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, I cannot believe I got trolled by a fucking storeroom. Alright, well, this will be quick and easy.
The nice thing is, once you get the idea of where you're supposed to go and do, you can just crank through it, like, no problem. Nope. Yeah, see, I mentioned earlier about it, like, making me turn 180 degrees. That uh, was one of those times. Alright, let's see. Uh, this one, F61. We're gonna not read this entire thing again. Okay, got that. Uh, nothing on there. Okay, more herbal medicine. Can't remember if there's anything in there. Nope. Where is this now? Alright, bloody handprints by a candle. Alright. Where did I see that? I don't remember anywhere in this building having a candle. Um Got it. Go ahead. Whatever you I wonder if we do have to actually go past that room um, with the, I don't know, the laughing ghost. And that way we. Stuck fast. Hold on, let, let me finish. Alright, yeah, no, it's still done. Please stop doing that. Sometimes in those older games, you have to let, uh, like, a voice recording go uh, and complete before it'll unlock or drop something. I've played a couple weird oddball games that have done that. Uh, one of it was, I think it was Disaster Report, or Michigan Report from Hell. I think that was the one. And, t I mean, to be fair, that game was absolutely jank and busted. So, but my god, is it just such a fun masterpiece. Fuck! I cannot believe that got me again. That is just so ear shattering. All right, past here is the Great Hall. The Great Hall then goes, that's the one. Yeah, see, north is. Okay. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's, let's be quick here and do a save state. There we go. Over here. Oh boy. Where is it? Okay, it's on this wall here. All right, please move a little faster. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, this, this is the one that you can't go through. Nothing. Please stop. The twins. Uh, did I get you in time? Nope. No, I didn't. And did you say the twinks? Oh. This is the hallway. Yeah. Hold on. Wait, maybe, yeah, that's this one. There we go. Okay. 
was nice of him to open the door for me. <laughs> blast. Raises damage and blast back. Spirit power require two. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so the spirit power is my effective, like the little spirit orbs that I got in my camera. Ah, makes so much sense now. Increases damage, enables slow blast back ability. Looks heavier damage than normal, enables blast back. Okay. Raising the level of this effect also allows you to inflict increased damage and enables the slow blast back ability. Okay. That is pretty good. I will take that. I will absolutely... No, that's not the one I wanted. Equipped. Blast back. And... Functional power up. I'm gonna hold out for higher sensitivity. Yeah, I'm gonna hold out for a little bit on that one. Okay. Oh. Well, before we do this, let's take a look around. Something in the drawer. Look at that, more herbal medicine. Also, I just realized that the stone mirror did not protect my ass uh, from getting one shot by that thing. No, I don't wanna check that just yet. I wanna go, oh, all right, never mind. I thought that was an area. Excuse me, can I? What is the deal here? Let me in. Let me in, please. Uh, hold on. What, what is it that you want me to do? Oh. From this angle. Gotcha. What? Oh, 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 okay. Totally missed you. I'm gonna get nailed. Oh! Look at that. Combo dodged. Uh. Can I please? For fuck's sakes, I missed. Alright. I. I need a little bit more space here, guys. God damn it. I am stuck between the baskets. Get off me. I am not in a good position right now. Oh, there's type seven film, old film, bad state. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I have 18 herbal medicines. Wow, that heals a lot. Excuse me, I need to get back. I need to... God damn it, I'm missing so much right now. Okay, back up. I got you that time. That's bullshit. Oh my god. I have no room to fight this. I got you on that one. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Oh, I got you! Oh, you are still alive. Now that I know what you're... Wow, you are strong. Did I get you? I did. Okay.
All right, just why are you so tough? What is your deal? I missed. All right, I'm going to hit you with a powerful one. There you go. Special shot. Wow. <laughs> this is this is the most boring boss fight now. All right, I'm done with you. No more games. Just lay down and die again, please. There's something on the ground. The diamond stack key. The bloodstained wooden key is carved with a diamond stack design. So that was a necessary fight. That was brutal. The fight in such a small area was a nightmare. Faintly glowing crystal. A uh, spirit orb again. Nice. Man, that was tough. All right, let's... That gave me 10,000 points. Sensitivity. Upgrade that. Oh. turned around which way all right not the antechamber oh was there actually anything on this floor that was locked yeah yeah never mind I know exactly what was locked it was the guest room so <laughs> we going the right way nope we're not you're not going the right way Alright, let's try this without getting murdered. That would be really cruel if she's still in here. She is. Alright. Could you imagine going through that tough of a fight? and then getting one shot. And even though you had a stone mirror that you just get obliterated. Oh, that would be, that would be a time to take a break and walk away from the, the console. We're in a safe. Yes, I don't want to do that. Uh, wait, nope. Good. Please. Safe completed. Oh man, I am stiff today. I still gotta go to the gym. Just one of those days where... Oh, come on. It's just one of those days where it's really cloudy and overcast. And, uh... You just don't want to do anything. You just want to hang out. All right. Whoa. Turns. <laughs> That's what your legacy is. Turns head. All right. Take a pick 
Gotcha. So, do these villages just go around and try to think of the most fucked up way to kill a sacrifice to keep, you know, hell from opening up on the village or, you know, where you built your house on the gateway to hell? Because it seems kind of like that. It seems like the way to avoid this is just not built there. Ancient village records have been stored in the ceremony master's house. Many discuss the legends, folklores, or rituals of the village. There are sure to be many records of folklore value. The forbidden ri okay, the crimson sacrifice ritual. Twins are used to seal the gate to hell. There are two parts, the visible ceremony, which occurs periodically, and if it fails, a hidden ceremony is performed. If all the ceremony fails, the gate to hell will open, the dead will pour out, and the skies will go dark. They call this disaster the repentance. The whereabouts of Munakata's friends, the twin boys, Itsuki and Mutsuki, are unknown, which is a little troubling. If they are found, I might be able to ask them about the village. Okay. Also, yeah, no, I absolutely prefer winter. Being in the desert, like, I hate summer. Um, like, it's not uncommon for a lot of households to just keep their blinds completely closed throughout the day. And as weird as it sounds, um... Okay. As weird as it sounds, a lot of the people here have vitamin D uh, deficiencies. Because we stay out of the sun as much as we can. You unlock the door with the diamond stack. Nailed it. Chapter 4, Forbidden Ritual Butterfly Diary 1 Munakana and his teacher came to the village today. He said he was worried about Suki. He came to help, but I can't tell outsiders about the village. If Suki's locked up in the storehouse, I doubt he'll be allowed to talk with an outsider. Mr. Makabe made a picture of us with his picture box. My face looks strange, but it's interesting to see. He's probably going to be star star because... Our cleansing isn't finished yet. Before that happens, we have to help him escape. If I can become one with you, yay, I'll be happy. That's the only thing that matters to me. I never understood the whole don't build on the burial grounds or holy site scenario in horror, like The Shining. A lot of horror stories kind of teach some sort of lesson, like telling kids about a monster under the bed so they don't wander around at night. It's true, most folklore have a purpose, uh, like La Rona, uh, you know, it's a, in Mexico, I can never say it properly, La Rona is the, the weeping woman, and she'll wander the banks of the river to come claim kids and drown them. And obviously that's just, you know, saying, hey, don't go near the river, fucking idiot, you'll drown. Um, but kids don't care about that, so what they do is they say, oh, there's a ghost. The kids are way more receptive to that. The dolls are falling to pieces now. Some of the dolls are even missing their heads. But yeah, no, you're totally right. Something shows in the photo. 
It looks like the same doll. Oh, the one that's hidden in the other room? Or whatever. It's the creepy one. Is there any other room? No. Okay. Now this thing's probably going to come to life and try to attack me. Alright, I'm going to take this and ignore you. Alright, never mind. I'm going to have to deal with you first. Where are you? Where are you? Oh. Oh, fuck. Missed. Great. There we go. Oh, how did I miss that one? There's no way. There we go. Okay, I'm getting... There we go. That's... Am I supposed to be hitting it? Okay, I'm trying... I know that one I missed. Okay, I'm gonna get attacked. Great. Uh, please bounce off. Let me run past you and then use a healing item. So far, I've only found one stone here, which is significantly less than the other one. Alright. What's... What is your deal now? This one is so finicky. I don't understand this ghost type. I know it's hiding its face, but... There. Got it. Now I'm going to do a power strike on you. Oh, God. Fuck! My reaction time is not quick enough. There we go. Okay. I really have to pay attention. Oh. Okay. There we go. Maybe it is don't play around the Lord's Emperor Mansion. I imagine the Japanese emperors don't want kids playing around the castle. Yeah. I mean... Oh, what? Oh, yeah, right. I got you. Twin doll heads. They're old, but beautifully decorated. Oh, alright. Excuse me. That's actually a really good point. Oh, please. There we go. And insert this bad boy. The sound came from the doll stand. It seems that inserting their heads make them excellent. Okay, gotcha. Chosen children shall be carried to heaven on the wings of a butterfly. A butterfly that will save this village. Ooh, oh, ah. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on. Um, mm, I don't. Um, I. <sighs> I'm dumbfounded. I don't know what is. Hold on, let me take a look here. So there's the... Is... Am I trying to line them up properly? What is the deal here? Uh, I got five seconds, so obviously I've lost. The dolls stop moving. Maybe they stop after a certain length of time. What does that even... Hold on. Let me take a look. Let me take another photo. All right, you gonna give me the answer to the puzzle? Oh. Oh, I should back up a little bit. All right. There we go. All right, I see now. Um. I'm. I am not gonna remember this. 
Like, just straight away, I am not gonna remember this. Okay. Looks like the same doll. Alright, let's just try it again. I hear something. The two chosen children shall be carried to heaven on the wings of a butterfly. A butterfly that will save this village. Alright, so this one was over here. Uh, the two children. Oh no, I've already, I've already messed this up. This is rough. This is a very difficult puzzle because I don't have a clear photograph of what I'm supposed to be putting in it. Okay, leave. Yeah, leave this real quick. All right, hold on. Let's switch out the ammo for cheaper stuff so I can take a look at it. Nightmare. All right, so the does everyone have to be in the right spot, or can it just be the two orange ones at the top? Let's just try the two orange ones at the top. If that doesn't work, then I'll just fuck my way through it, I guess. Okay. Butterfly. will save this village. Oh, right, yeah. My god. This is not exactly the most responsive control. Uh it's it is really difficult right now. Nailed it. All right. I thought everyone had to be in the right position, which was not the case. Okay. The solution to that was way, way easier. I was just overthinking it. The two chosen. Dude, shut up. I got it. The two chosen. But I don't know where this key goes to. Uh, let's see. Let's... What is behind here again? Nothing. Excuse me, Tater Tot. What the fuck? Did the game just crash? Holy shit. It just fucking died. I love it. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Well, I guess at that point, it is a good time to start uh, or stop. I have to go to the gym anyways, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I hopefully see you next time. Until then, adios. <laughs> God damn it.